Yo, man. I'm tired again, eh? Yeah, you hear me. Um, you all see me do this, and uh, you see me put carbon arc or air arc or gouging or whatever. And I don't know if you all know what the hell it means. Some of you do. Well, a lot of you do. Um, this is a, a rod. It's not a baton. Could be. Could poke your eye out, too. Hey, no, really, this is a... I normally use quarter inch. This is what's left when we're done. What that is, is a copper over graphite. So that is the same material that's technically inside your pencil. Number two pencil, graphite. So, that graphite conducts electricity. What? And it's just like stick welding. Uh, here I am trying to explain something that I'm too tired to. Did I tell you it's Sunday? 5.30. I just got, yeah, I'll show you that after this. So anyways, for some of you that don't know carbon arcing, graphite it's carbon whatever graphite rod and it goes into this here pot liquor Let's do my new thing pot liquor pot liquor hey a pot liquor of course I just I wore out the other this goes on here to protect you from arcing out against stuff because it's just like a stinger holder but you see that this is made out of, I don't know, uh, glass fiber reinforced polyfarbonate farfanugan. So my wife's actually going to, I'm going to send her tomorrow to get some supplies from the welding outfit. This is the Arc Air brand. Uh, this, don't ever buy one, it's a Chinese knockoff. I guess if you're on a budget, buy it, but... I don't like it, so I stole the thing off of here, and it doesn't fit the same. It's just, anyhow. So, let me get back to my explanation. See them little holes? i show you. There's little holes. And the noise comes from, most of the noise from this machine working, or this working, is that that rod sits there. with the air always underneath always the airflow has to come underneath and you don't want too much to stick out like today I was doing that the whole end of this little rod was vibrating it was like some ladies might like that but I, I didn't um, it was a vibrating then it'll just bust off on you so anyways, as you're working against the surface of your material, you always have the air on the bottom blowing that, that all the sparklers away. And that's where you get that every time that thing is making an arc, she's blowing all the crap out of the way. And actually, if you get good at it, and I've, it's been a while since I did that much, today and yesterday, but... Towards the end of the day, I was just shaving slivers off, and I could see the weld open up. And you're not touching the parent material, the base material. If you got a torch, it's just, it's a lot cleaner than a torch. It may not look like it, it may not sound like it, but you can get a lot more precision with this thing. So that's why I picked it up. And then I ran out of rods of my own, because like I said earlier, it wasn't prepared. I usually use quarter inch, in my Trailblazer 30 horsepower. She just a snort, and uh, I had to borrow some. Wait, you don't borrow these, you take them. You take them from your friends and then you replace them because when you borrow them, you can't give them anything back. <laughs> well, by the way, if you need something to write with, it's a pencil. Works really good. 
When I watched MH, MLH, MLH, uh, Mason the other day, I watched him, he had to watch that video. He was welding uh, 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 brazing this one of these. That's a cool trick. I got to try it someday. Um, that was, now I learned something and I'm the old guy. So anyways, that's the deal. Air on the bottom, always, always. Your work is here, always got the air blown away from you. If you put it the other way, things are going to look a little, 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 they're going to twirl around and bite you right in the face. And you can actually leave the rod in there, pinch it a little bit, and then just... Well, see, this is that Chinese knockoff. Spin it around so you're going the other way. But that air flow always has to be on the bottom. And you can actually just see that. I had it in there like that. If you got it not on center, it will be all over the place. There's little V's, grooves in there. You got to have that thing centered. And also, did you know there's flat rods? I'm going to get some flat rods and show you how that works. Man, you can open up a path like wahoo. Wowie, wowie. So anyways, enough of that. That's what a carbon arc rod is. Air arc, arc air. And uh, when all else fails and you need a pencil, pick one up off the floor. Or... Do I have to show you? Do I have to show you? show you with my pencil. Hi there. See you, bye.